Hey guys, my name is Zach and this is GG This Month. So today, meron tayong i-unbox at titignan na fighting stick na made for the PS5. This is the Hori Fighting Stick Alpha, an officially licensed PlayStation Arcade Stick for the modern console. Is this accessory a worth it purchase para sa mga fighting game enthusiasts? Alamin natin yan. But first, roll the intro. So kung hindi ako nagkakamali, yung Horistic Alpha is one of the very first arcade sticks na nag-work natively on the PS5. Gumagana pa rin naman yung mga made for the PS4 arcade sticks through backwards compatibility. But these are detected as PS4 legacy controllers on the PS5. As for the Horistic Alpha, parang considered na rin siya na entry level but quality PS5 arcade stick. And that's among the regular size ones. Meron din kasing fighting stick mini kaso parang masyadong crap na ang layout for long sessions. Anyway, I got this one from the Shopee page ng Game1PH. It's listed at 8,995 pesos but I got this one for 7,995 pesos pagkatapos gamitan ng discount voucher ng Shopee. Now, before we talk about the features, i-unbox natin muna to. So here's a closer look of the box. Now, even though it's made for the PS5, it's also compatible with the PS4 as well as PC. Although, hindi siya nakalagay dito, pero pwede ang PC. The back, I'm guessing nandito yung iba't iba mga features niya, pero mamaya na natin ito pag-usapan. Ayan pala. So, meron naman nakalagay rito na pwede siya sa PS4 at saka sa PC. Pretty straightforward nandito yung arcade stick. You also have the instruction. So PS5, PS4, PC, kung paano buksan. Okay, there's an English guide naman. Yun. Pretty hefty. And may rubber mat dito. So let's take a closer look. So here meron tayong Hayabusa buttons and Hayabusa lever. Now, ako hindi naman siya issue sa akin as long as functional siya. So here we have a noir layout. Parang stepwise yung second to fourth column of buttons niya. As opposed to Vulix na yung second to fourth buttons magkakapantay lang. So ako, galing ako sa isang Vulix layout nung Tekken 7 with my Hori Rap 3. But okay lang naman sa akin yung shift to noir since in Tekken, you only use four main buttons. Unless talagyan mo ng shortcut yung ibang buttons dito. So okay na rin naman. Medyo nakakapanibago lang yung position ng start button kasi nasa upper right as opposed dun sa Hori Rap 3 ko na nasa tabi halos ng L1. So sa mga modes, pwede mo i-shift from the PS5 to the PS4 and PC. Meron din itong lockout button para sa mga mahilig mag-join ng competition. So basically, it just locks out the function of the menu buttons para hindi mo basa-basa mapos ang laro. It also has the L3 and R3 buttons. Nandito yung function, yung share, pati yung PlayStation button. Ang maganda, may touchpad din siya tulad ng mga nasa DualSense controller. You can also have up to 4 profiles, which you can use if may certain layout combinations ka na gusto mo gawin. You just have to press function tapos L3 to cycle through the profiles. Very simple lang. Yung custom profiles na you can manage it through the companion app for Windows. Kailangan niya lang siya i-download sa official Hori website. There's also a headphone jack on the side. Tapos, there's a latch over here. Pag binuksan natin, ayun, may access to the different wirings. Good if you want to customize the parts such as replacing the stock parts to Sanwa. Nandito na rin sa loob yung USB cable niya. Medyo di ko lang trip yung location niya kasi dun sa previous stick ko, may separate compartment. 
kailangan lang talaga na organize ka when you're returning your cable. By the way, the wire is USB-A. So kung may PS5 Slim ka, dun mo ikakabit sa USB slot sa likod since may dalawang USB-C na nasa harap. Unlike yung sa original PS5 na may isang USB-A and USB-C. Talking about customization, replaceable din yung top panel artwork. So you can just download the template, do your own artwork, or just download ready-made art that is available on the internet. Now, if you're the type na dinadala ang arcade stick sa FGCs, convenient rin na idala yung Hori Alpha since may handle naman siya on the side. Very nice. So ngayon, let's try to use the Hori Stick Alpha and see it in action. Now, in summary, for the pros, you get a very responsive and well-built arcade stick at reasonable pricing. It's customizable in terms of the profile, the parts, and the art panel, and it's easy to carry around because of the handles. However, it's not all that perfect because the storage for the USB cable could have been better. But at this price range, it's still functional and you can still get by. You also have the placement of the start button which needs some time getting used to, but that's just me. And that, guys, is the Hori Fighting Stick Alpha. What do you guys think of this arcade stick? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and hit on that notification bell for more content just like this. Thank you again for watching. Again, I'm Zach, and this is Gigi. Fist bump.